Where there is change, there is lay ministry. When has the church made the biggest impact on the world for Christ? Was it the early church, as loving individuals took on the power of an empire and endured tremendous persecution? Or maybe it was the monastic revolutions of Benedict, Clare, and Francis that regrounded the church in radical Christian discipleship. Or maybe it was during the Reformation, with its sweeping societal transformations, rooting itself in God's word and expressing the love of Christ to neighbors. Or perhaps it was the civil rights movement of the 1900s that stirred people's consciences with its prophetic voice. Over and over again, the common factor in the transformational moments of the church has been the involvement of ordinary people seeking extraordinary relationships with Jesus Christ and sharing the grace they find with the people around them. What is lay ministry? Lay ministry is the people of God serving God with their spiritual gifts. As outlined in 1 Corinthians 12, Romans 12, and Ephesians 4, every person who gives their life to Jesus Christ receives a unique constellation of spiritual gifts. When people use their gifts for God's purposes, that is ministry. We call it lay ministry to separate it from clergy ministry, service by ordained pastors. My mother always told me that, Curtis, one day you're going to preach. But I really didn't listen to her. I went about my life. But I knew down inside, deep down inside, God had a plan for me. Then I met Reverend Tom Richard. Tom Richard was the interim minister at our church for a period of a year and a half. And Tom and I worked together. And Tom got me on the path of my ministry. And I thank him for that. I thank God and I thank Congregational Church of the Chimes. You see, I haven't always been a pastor. Several years ago, my job was downsized. I wanted to be more involved in my church since I was no longer working full time. I considered more education in a different field, but with two kids in college full time, cost was a factor. I found out about the National Association Lay Ministry Training Program. At that time, I just wanted to learn more about the Bible and congregationalism. The program was affordable and would give me tools to be a better church board member. As I worked the program and studied, I discerned a call to ministry. Building on the efforts of the 1990s, early 2000s, and the current Wisconsin Congregational Association, the National Association has undertaken a new effort to bring lay ministry training to its churches. We are leveraging new empowering technologies that erase distance, add flexibility, and open the doors of opportunity to more people who want to grow in their faith and serve God. We offer three levels of training to better fit the needs of individuals and churches. The first level is for discipleship, designed for any Christian who wants to deepen their relationship and service to Jesus Christ. You might think of this as adult confirmation class. The second level is for lay leadership and built to more deeply explore what it means to be a Christian and a leader. Because God wants to build servant leadership into the fabric of every church. The third level is for those God is calling into pastoral ministry. The lay pastor in training will explore more deeply their God-given spiritual gifts, attend the Boston Seminar, to more deeply understand the congregational way and receive additional mentoring and leadership training. We have exciting, gifted instructors and mentors already committed for the 2021 
and 22 year. Because Christians grow in community, the lay ministry program creates cohorts, a group of students moving through the year together that helps build up and support each student. The program is designed to provide several different kinds of mentors for students, instructors, a cohort mentor, and a local pastor. I strongly encourage folks in our various churches to check out this newly revamped lay ministry training program. If you want to do it, you can do it also. God bless you.